Hello guys, this is Joe, a technical engineer from Wacom. Today, I want to introduce the Wacom PLC to you. PLC is the device that can control a lot of kinds of empty, emptiment or production presses through digital or uh, analog input and output. Now, let me show you more detailed. Here is a simple. This simple is LX5V series. Uh, this arrow is the digital input port. And the L and N ports are used for the uh, 220 voltage power support. support. And the SS port is the common end of the X terminal. This arrow is the output part. And the 24 positive and the COM terminal can be used to power other 24 um, device. And this part is the stator light part. When the power is normal, the, the PWR light will be on. If the PLC is in the rumbling state, the RUN, the ROM light will, will also be on. And if the program has an arrow, the arrow light will be red. Okay, and in our PLC, there are also a better batteries have a battery for keeping the time. If the battery is dead, the BAT light will be on. The next arrow is the switch and the communication port. This switch is used to change the operation state of the PLC. This micro USB is used to connect PC and the PLC for download the project. Then the round 8 pin port is RS422 and the COM1 port is RS485. Those two ports belong to the same port. So you can only choose one of the two one of the two when commun communicating. They both support the Wacom protocol and can be used for communication uh, with uh, Wacom PLC, uh, Wacom HMI or Webox. COM2 is also RS485 but it not only supports Wacom protocol, it also supports uh, model bus protocol. LX5V can be set by the uh, PLC editor uh, software, but uh, LX3V, you need to program it a letter to set the communication parameter. And this part is used to connect the BD board. We have many types of BD boards, such as reading analog date or reading the temperature and adding communication ports. We have two sides of BD boards. The big, uh, the big BD boards can can only be um, used in this port, this position. And the last part is used to con connect the expansion module. The expansion module can increase the input and output term, uh, terminal of the PLC and, all, and also can read the uh, analog date like uh, temperature, wind. 
Okay, next I would like to show you the uh, internal of PLC. First, uh, we need to remove the screws, screws, these four screws, okay? And then we can take out the shell. Take out the shell, and we will see the three PCB bolt in the PLC. The top bolt, uh, it is the control bolt used for software program and the communication. The, uh, uh, and this is the battery, which is used to power the time of the PLC. Without this battery, the time of the PLC will be wrong. And, ne and next, it's mid bolt. This bolt uh, is the terminal bolt, and then this part, this part of the uh, de uh, device is transistor, which is used to control the input and output terminal. Okay, and the last is the bottom bolt is the power bolt which is used to power the PLC. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your watching.